What's up everybody, Jimmy this promo here, and today we're just going to be doing a little bit of live dialogue going in with the live stream of the Unpacked event for 2018 from Samsung. So it looks as if we're probably about maybe, it says two minutes away, but it could be anywhere between two and five minutes away. So hopefully we'll be able to get this thing kicked off and started. Uh, so in the display here, you guys can see the live stream in the center. You got me on the very bottom, and then you also got the chat. So let me know you know, if the chat gets in the way or if my camera gets in the way, I'll be able to adjust and move everything around too. So uh, I guess before we get started, you know, what are you guys excited for? What do you guys want to be in this next device? Uh, what are you guys thinking? Um, I guess we'll just kind of hang out together and, and go through it. Let's see. I'm gonna see if I can move over. So it looks like the stream is going live. We're good to go. Hopefully we got a few people watching. I see some notifications coming on. Let's see. What's up, Damien? Hey, Ivan. What's up, everybody? How you guys doing? Oh, and if I if you guys do see me looking over, um, it's it's just because I'm looking over at my other monitor, which is actually where everything is uh, streaming from. So, all right. So you want a bigger display? I know. I'm excited too. I'm excited too. That just means with another phone means more videos. It means something else that we're able to do. You know. Just want to know if it's worth the upgrade from the S8 Plus. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I think I think a lot of people are definitely wondering that one. What's up, everybody? What's up, Mark? Roro says I'm excited. Masab TM, better camera. Definitely, obviously, we know the camera is going to be better. Um, I mean, you can see right here the main teaser is camera reimagined, so you know it's definitely going to be a better ba uh, camera for sure. So. Mohammed, what's up, Mohammed? <laughs> yeah, you're waiting, waiting for the uh, S for the Note Nine. Yeah, I know. Well, that so am I, man. It, it's the the moment that Samsung press releases the S phones, I know exactly what's going to be in the Note phones, um, just based on what is in this device. And I am a Note user, super excited. But I will have to say that when the Galaxy S8 Plus came out, um, I actually did not miss my Note. I think it was the Note 5 or Note 7 as much when the S8 Plus came out because it had um, Smart Select and all the other features and the larger screen. So um, I actually was okay with that one. How much time is left? Um, it, say, it says that it should be starting at 11 o'clock Central Time, um, which, which is the 1800 CET. So it should be starting uh, any minute now. So usually with these unpacks, so here's this presentation and stuff. Um, so it looks as if it should be kicking off and going. So um, let's see. I'm literally relying on your opinion to get the S9 Plus or stick with my S8 Plus. All right, sounds good. I guess we'll see how it goes. Um, see, there is some type of uh, <laughs> announcement for recording. So we'll see if I'm okay. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think this I think this will be a good one. I mean, they they made some huge strides last year, so I got a feeling that the Apple Apple users are always you know wanting this this next device that Samsung comes out with. You know, it's they just don't really move on over because they love the ecosystem of what Apple has to offer. So, um, but honestly, if you know how any ecosystem works, you know that if you could do it on Android, you could do it on Apple. If you could do it on Apple, you could do it on Android. Um, and usually what I, what I tell anybody and everybody I know that has an Apple device is just make sure you use Allo and Duo. Allo is a, an amazing chat service that you're able to use um, that you can talk to anybody if it's mobile data um, or if it's Wi-Fi. If you're in this country or another country, if you're Android, iPhone, whatever it is, same thing with Duo for the video chat. So it looks like we're about to kick off here. So I won't, I won't talk as much. But let's keep the dialogue going in the box. Woo. All right, I'm gonna take some notes. Can you guys hear everything okay?
You're welcome, Steely. And I'm guessing the yup means that you guys are able to hear me and the video. Okay, good. I can always I can always make one of them a little bit louder if you guys need. I love, I love the Gear VR, man. I think it was super cool. President, head of IT mobile communication division, DJ Co. I got so good. Ooh, DJ Co. Big man on campus. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. And thank you. It's an exciting time to be at Mobile World Congress. Incredible advances in technology have created the perfect conditions for innovation and change. Artificial intelligence and machine learning, augmented and virtual reality, faster networks, more powerful processors, the Internet of Things. And now, with connected devices everywhere, powered by AI, what we like to call the intelligence of things. This week, companies from across our industry have come to show us how they yes, yes, that's my cat. It's very vocal right now. <laughs> but get out of here. <laughs> I have a different view. Yeah, I'll get him upstairs. I believe we overestimate our impact and inflate our role. It's not technology companies that change the world. It's people. We may deliver new capabilities and add new features, but it's only when technology is in people's hands that real magic happens and our lives are transformed. It's you who are the true creators and innovators. You are the ones to see new possibilities that open the door to a universe of new experiences. There is no better proof than the mobile phone. It started out as a simple idea. 
Is that better? You guys able to hear it better? To make phone calls on the go. But when you saw what it could do, you wondered what else was possible. If I can make a call, cool, why cool, not cool. send an email? So we're all good on both. Why can't I listen to music? Why can't I take up pictures or watch videos? Okay, I'll make sure it goes up just a little bit more. At Samsung, we are inspired by the questions you ask. We are a company of researchers, innovators, designers, cool, cool. and engineers. Perfect. We have a deep commitment to listen to our customers. Every question challenges us to work harder to turn today's impossible ideas into tomorrow's essential capabilities. Good, good, good. This is why we built the first mobile phone with an MP3 player. Come on, DJ Co. And the we first want to know about phone <laughs> with a built-in <laughs> camera. It's what led us to create the phablet and pioneer the infinite display. That was a now, good graphic. We are even more excited by what's possible when you turn can't into can. Your ideas and passion have transformed the communications and changed how we live. But for all the progress we have made, there's still a lot of work to do. Technology <laughs> is still too complicated. There are too many steps. Too many features don't get used <laughs> to tackle these next great challenges. We are committed open innovation, so all your smart devices will work seamlessly across your connected life. Fragmentation and complexity will become a thing of the past. Today, we are unveiling a new Galaxy smartphone with powerful software and services to manage every facet of your connected life. So he's talking about Bixby. So a Bixby is a pretty big part of everything. With a personalized I mean, that'll be a part of Bixby, appliances, which learns from you I mean to simplify. Now, you get things done. A smartphone that includes the new SmartThings app to provide a unified and easy way to control all your smart things devices. A smartphone that lets you share images and videos across your smart TV and family hub refrigerator. And a smartphone with Samsung Health to so help it looks you like live when he was talking about the Samsung smart things where you connect to everything. Life. Um, I think that is looking like it will be replacing Samsung Connect because on the phone, For Samsung years, Connect pretty much does all of that. So it looks one like they rebranded that from so Samsung Connect over into a built -in Samsung Smart the monitor. Now, we are adding an advanced optic sensor to track how hard your heart is working. And we are partnering with the University of California, San Francisco School of Medicine for the first research program to use this sensor to measure blood pressure. Tracking health and fitness is just one way people use phones that we didn't imagine at the beginning of the smartphone era. But of all the changes we have seen, nothing is more important than how images are replacing words and how visuals have become the new language for self-expression. It's not the text we send or the updates we post so that convey about who we are emojis and anymore. Bitmojis, stickers. And the most important function of a phone is not 
making calls is to capture the fleeting moment that express what you want to say in an instant by taking photos and selfies, sending so emojis, you ask the question, and I'll sharing the videos. Um, I'll definitely be getting the larger version of this. Um, Last year, just because usually a plus version usually possibly has a little bit more, especially that battery life as well too. So. On their smartphones, yes, uh, we'll be definitely every day. They share bigger version of ten this billion videos and sent five billion emojis. Clearly, the social media generation has revolutionized the way people communicate and transform the way we all use our phones. <laughs> but if how you use yeah, you your phone emoji, has changed it, yeah, you tell that to the how Apple you build it, who's, uh, turn their faces in the poop head. We still squeeze a camera into a device <laughs> meant for talking. And while camera have gotten better, they don't take great pictures in low light. Action shots, are still blurry. As Samsung, we believe it's time for a new kind of phone, not just a great smartphone that takes good pictures. A breakthrough camera that sees the world clearly in any light. Build around an amazing smartphone. Inspired by your ability to take us to places we never imagined we'd go. I'm thrilled to unveil the first smartphone built for the way you use your phone today. Hmm. And the only smartphone with the power to help you reimagine how you will experience the world yeah. tomorrow. Good mark emoji. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, That'd be fantastic. I give you here we go. Galox S9 and S9 Plus. Here we go, here we go. This is the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. There they are. There they are.
Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Senior Vice President, Product Marketing, Justin Dennison. Well, hello, everyone. Yeah, there was a little bit of I am so I guess thrilled to be here to tell you about the amazing so Galaxy S9. That's a crazy setup. Though. Now, we smartphone owners know from experience that the way we're using our smartphones is changing. Whereas originally, our phones were designed for, well, making phone calls. But we don't use our phones like this so much anymore. We use them like this. We send photos, GIFs, and emojis. We communicate through video chat. And when we see something funny, we don't write about it. We capture it. And we do this all on our smartphones. They're the most personal devices in our lives. They're how we express ourselves and how we share things with the people we love. And at Samsung, we're committed to creating phones that reflect the way you live your life today. And that's why we created the Galaxy S8 and Note 8, introducing an infinity display that lets you see and do more, changing the way that we create and communicate. And today, we're building on that commitment. We're bringing you a phone that lets you capture every fleeting moment, interact with the world intuitively, and express yourself like never before. The Galaxy S9. Thank you. Thank you. When we released the Infinity Display, most people had never seen anything like it. Its groundbreaking design offered more screen in less space and quickly set a new industry standard. With the S9, we've built on this foundation, taking the same immersive end-to-end -end display and refining it even further. We've created a design so sleek and unified, you can hardly tell where the screen ends. And as always, you know, there's no notch. <laughs> We've oh, also refined good, the back uh, of the scan. phone, and it's as beautiful as the front. There's no notch, So take guys. the fingerprint scanner, for example, <laughs> which we all know is one of the most popular ways that we like to unlock our phones. All which right. is why we... How, how many jabs do we have going at Apple on this presentation? So if we're at one... Instead, what do, what do we listen think? carefully to your feedback. How many do you and we think move the fingerprint be? scanner directly below the camera, where it's even easier to reach <laughs> naturally. Thank you. All right, so you guys can see in that image there that looks like the S9 Plus. And because we believe dual camera, the S9 has an individual choice, camera. So you might want to think about that one too. When we're you're, also introducing when you're looking at upgrading between scan. the two. Intelligent scan adapts to your needs, combining the key elements of iris scanning and face recognition to make it even easier for you to unlock your phone in more situations. And the feedback we collect from you extends to colors, too. And thanks to your input, the Galaxy S9 comes in four stunning colors. Midnight black, titanium gray, coral blue, and the all-new, one-of-a-kind lilac purple, which I have a hunch is going to be a crowd favorite. Cool. And now, because a picture is worth a thousand words, I want to give you a chance to see how beautiful the Galaxy S9 will look in your hands. But, you know, because we haven't released it yet, we're going to use some magic here. So get ready. The magic of augmented reality. To show you how the S9 will look up close and personal. So for those of you here in Barcelona, I'd ask you to take off your unpack badges and hold them in front of you face up. Okay, go ahead. I'll give you a second to do this. Now, once you have your badge out, make sure you take your phone out, too. I know we usually ask you to put phones down, but this time bring it out and open the Unpacked app yeah, on your phone. That's pretty much about right. I mean, when you place a There's case a little on, button the, in the on the corner device, says AR, we'll, we'll click that. Away the color. Um, now, scan your badge sure if the front facing you there colors. with your phone. Um, it might. So I and as you do that, to, um, what's going to happen is your badge is going to transform so that's actually a pretty cool into app. the Galaxy S9 um, the right there in your reality hands. portion of it to where 
Oh yeah, I'm, I'm hearing some oohs and ahs. Exactly what the phone looks you're like getting in your it. Hand. They actually did this earlier one time. Now you've probably figured out that you can tilt watch. it back and forth, side to side, top to bottom. You can check out the beautiful aluminum frame. Now, in case you haven't figured it out yet, you can flip over your badge, and now you can look at the back of the phone. Ooh. Now, when you do this, oh, that's pretty cool. This is when you need to check out all the colors. So at the bottom, you can select colors. That guy's looking at the one. S9 of course, right now, not the S9 Plus, because that only has the one camera. So my guess is that... And so for those of you watching on the live stream, so my guess is that the camera you on the should S9 see what Plus we're will seeing, be shown to us screen. Note 8. We have the live blur the or live focus. The gorgeous Galaxy S9 um, with a sleek, cameras, refined so Infinity display. To be able to do that. And then a the totally S9, uninterrupted screen that stretches like nearly all the way across um, the front of the device. You have... The, the near or far and it looks great in your hand too right um, that's going to be my guess is because that's pretty much what the second camera does is it allows for that live blur or live focus um, ability so we'll see now we'll where see I'm glad that you got a chance to experience the S9 up close, up close and personal I'm going to have to be the bad guy and ask you to put your phones away your Galaxy S9's away for a minute because I don't want you to miss what comes next so there you have it folks your first personal sneak preview of the Galaxy S9 So from front to back and outside in, this device is designed for the visual and social generation. And while it starts with an amazing display that you just saw in your hand, it also extends to one of the most fundamental tools in our lives. And at least that fingerprint reader camera. is below the camera this time. So it'll be actually much easier and to, to lock create the, phone the S9. The we completely reimagined the camera up and built right. an amazing phone around it to create the ultimate tool for communication and self-expression. From the outset, we challenged ourselves with a different set of questions. Oh. What if your smartphone camera could adapt your environment just like the human eye? What if it could radically slow down time? What if it could put more self into self-expression? And what if it could literally translate the world around you? Well, today we're going to answer those questions, and to help us do that, Please help me welcome your favorite demo enthusiast and mine, Mr. John Wong. Thanks, Justin. How's it going, Barcelona? Yeah. So I was out with a few friends the other night, and we wanted to take a group photo. Because it was dark out, and everyone knows I have the latest Galaxy device, of course, we used my camera. Most smartphone cameras just won't cut it after the sun goes down. At Samsung, we've always been committed to leading the industry with our camera technology. And this year, we're building on that foundation with our most groundbreaking camera yet. We've reimagined what's possible to help you take brilliant photos at any time of day. For inspiration, for inspiration we turn it into an incredibly powerful image capturing tool. The human eye. See, the eye naturally adapts to different lighting situations. When it's bright out, your pupils shrink down. When it's dark, they get larger. If they didn't, you'd either be blind as a bat at night or blinded by the sun during the day. And yet, that's how most smartphone cameras have worked. Until now, the Galaxy S9 has a dual aperture smartphone camera that's actually designed to work like the human eye. If it's bright outside, the camera will automatically use the smaller aperture. Ooh, this is the dual aperture that they're talking and about. When it gets dark, leaks. the camera switches over to a wider aperture. In fact, the widest ever included in a smartphone. So you can take bright, clear shots day and night. With dual aperture, we've used our industry-leading hardware to reimagine the camera down to its foundation. And we brought that same expertise to the image sensor. With the S9, We've integrated a DRAM memory chip 
directly into the camera as part of our new super speed dual pixel image sensor. That means the camera itself can process four times as much image data as before to minimize noise and create a noticeably clear image in low light. Combined with dual aperture, this means that you can take incredible shots, whether it's super bright or super dark. Now, your eyes probably just took a few moments to adjust in the sudden change in lighting, but the S9's camera adjusts instantly to take the perfect shot. See, when the lights were dim, we actually took a photo with the S9. Take a look. Pretty great, right? Yeah, it's pretty good aperture. When we set out to reimagine the camera, we focus on the experience our users love the most. And everyone loves slow-mo. It's one of the most popular shooting modes because it makes everything look totally epic. The great part about slow-mo is you don't need to be filming a once-in-a-lifetime event. It's all about radically slowing down time to make everyday moments epic, which is why we're taking slow-mo to a whole new level with the S9 camera. Remember that new super, super speed image processor we talked about? Well, our DRAM memory chip powers the S9's all-new super slow-mo experience. Oop, they said super slow-mo, not slow-mo. Super slow-mo, slow -mo, you can record videos at an incredible 960 frames per second. That's pretty sick. That means you can stretch 0.2 seconds of time about the length of a blink, into a six-second masterpiece. So basically, 960 so, frames per second is equivalent so of like one thirty-second the speed. We've invited our favorite slow-mo experts, the slow-mo guys, to give it a test run. These guys, I know, right? Awesome. 960 frames per second. Here, I'll write this down so you guys can kind of see it too. These guys make awesome slow-mo videos, and they pretty much perfected the art. Let's see what they've created with super slow mo on the S9 camera. Oh, this is scary. Oh. Get on with it. Yeah. Oh, it's about to go. Oh, oh God. Oh. This is scary. Go, go, go. Oh. Hello, I'm Gav. I'm Dan. We're the Oh, I love guys. these dudes. We did name ourselves appropriately. Let's test this bad boy out. Ooh, the light. They got the phone. Sure. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Loving it. Stop, stop. Ooh. Two, one, go. No! Oh, the only question I have now is are you ready? Nail it. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, perfect. Good box position. Perfect. Nail me right in the nose there. You want to do it again? No. Nah, I didn't think you would. Can I dry off? Yeah, right. Sweet. Let me watch this again. You go get dry. All right, all right. <laughs> Love those guys. Awesome. It is nice, though. It would be really nice to have. I mean, slow mo is something I do love to play on my device. So that's pretty cool. Dan will be hosting a short session after the show. And Gav and Dan will be sharing their full set of tips and tricks on our Samsung YouTube channel in the next few weeks. Now, just for comparison's sake, let's take a look at how super slow-mo stacks up against typical slow-mo on a smartphone. Yeah, it's all right. Video I already told my viewers. <laughs> it's normal slow-mo. The one on the right is super slow-mo on the Galaxy S9 camera. Just look at that difference. And it's not just short clips. Using multi-take, you can record longer videos with up to 20 different slow-mo scenes. That means you can slow down the action at just the right moments. That was the slow-mo guys. What's um, better than a cat video? Steely, it's a really good That's YouTube right. channel. A super slow-mo cat video. Yeah. And for those moments that are hard to time just right, we have auto capture. Just choose an area on screen and any motion within it will trigger super slow-mo, so you can capture the magic 
exactly when it happens. And you can also turn your slow-mo video into a GIF, which you can play forward, backward, or on a loop. Super slow-mo lets you capture fun memories and create amazing moments that you can share with your friends. Now, let's check out how cool it is to create your own masterpiece. All I do is open up the camera, go to super slow-mo. Here, I'm going to move this and really in fast. Three, two, one, go. All right, I think we got it. Let's check it out. How cool is that? How cool is that? All right. I'm totally going to play it again. You got to see it again. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I just moved my box over, bro. Have you ever seen water look that good? And every time you make a video, automatic background music is added, and you can customize it to the perfect mood. And if that wasn't enough, let's check it out in reverse. No. <laughs> I have to move my nice. box again. So what we need to do, we need to, we need to somehow try to get me on that Pretty stage. Pretty amazing, isn't I think, it? I think I would do a very good job up there demoing this device, right? Of course. There's some videos that make you smile so much, you'll want to see them all the time. Does it come with vodka? So you can set your slow-mo video <laughs> as your lock screen. Optional. To give your infinity display a unique Maybe the vodka is part touch. of a promo. Yeah. <laughs> Super slow-mo videos can be heartwarming or hilarious. Our partners at the Dodo and BuzzFeed have already created some pretty great ones on the Galaxy S9. Sure, all of you will be just as creative when you make your super slow-mo debuts, and I can't wait to see what you come up with. And no matter how many photos or videos you take, you don't have to worry, because the S9 comes with a micro SD slot, which lets you expand your base storage. Up to 400 gigabytes. Mm. Say 400 gigabytes, not 256, please. You can use dual aperture, multi-frame processing, and super slow-mo on both the S9 and S9 Plus cameras. And now, for the very first time, we're bringing the incredible dual camera to the Galaxy S series with the S9 Plus. The S9 Plus comes with both a wide-angle lens and a telephoto lens. And it has optical image stabilization in both lenses. So you can take clear, focused shots whether you're snapping a close-up portrait or a wide shot that captures more of the action. You're not just creating memories, you're creating art. With live focus, the S9 Plus lets you take beautiful portraits by adjusting the blur of the background to make the subject really stand out. And you can do it even after you've taken the shot. Best of all, you can use all these incredible new camera features no matter where life takes you. Because, of course, the S9 is protected from the elements, IP68. water and dust resistance. Dual aperture for amazing shots day and night. A new super speed image processor for epic super slow-mo videos. And a powerful dual camera on the S9 Plus. This is what it means to completely reimagine the camera. But we didn't stop there. We also made a camera that brings a whole new level of visual intelligence to your phone. And to tell you how, please welcome Aaron Willis. Thanks, John. Hi everyone, I'm so excited to be here Hi, today Aaron. to tell you more about how we reimagined the camera. Now, it seems like we're always searching for new ways to personalize the messages we write. That's how we got emoticons, remember those? And then we had emojis, 
Ooh, emojis. And then even more emojis. But they were all just symbols and shortcuts that helped us to express a thought, a mood, an emotion, but never quite captured us as individuals. This year, we're changing all of that with augmented reality. Now, you can use either your front or back camera to map your unique facial features and expressions. See, now that's better than an emoji. emojis that actually look like you. Looks like we'll have AR crazy, emojis. Right? So it's, uh, that reminds me actually of uh, the Nintendo emojis or avatars. John, do you mind coming back up here for a second to show everyone how it works? Sure thing, Aaron. The really cool thing is with AR emoji is that it's super simple and easy to create them and personalize them. So let's check it out. Let me just plug the cord back in. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, I would rather turn myself into an avatar other than being some random emoji. So, and here's the thing about an emoji is, is that you can only send it from iPhone to iPhone. My guess is because this one is AR similar emoji. to like a Bitmoji, you'd be able to send it in any way you want to in Create any type of a chat service. So we're not limited at all, it looks like. And now use the front-facing camera. Yeah, the an emojis are definitely... Take a photo. Better. It's actually <laughs> as simple as taking a selfie. Just remove my I'm glasses, just not a big so fan a of them. Of I'd face. rather turn myself into something like me other than like a poop head or a unicorn no. or something like that. Oops. Now I'm taking my image and creating my AR emoji. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> Nice. All right, all right, wait, wait. Yeah, it's, it's a bit cool. generous with the hair. <laughs> um, so, but no worries. We can, uh, we can personalize that. So let's go over to this one. So you can change skin okay. tone, right. hair color. Not. I'm not completely bald. <laughs> Looks like you can add <laughs> glasses and clothes. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, great. Um, so now let's accessorize. Mm, yeah, that looks no. like them. Try the next ones. That yeah, one? perfect. Great. And lastly, wardrobe. Mm, not that one. Carrie, you'll, you'll look like Elmer Fudd if you look yeah, like Elmer Fudd. <laughs> you could probably yeah, make that happen. Perfect. Press OK. And now... Well, you could send an emoji, but it doesn't AR play. It, it, it sends it as an image, not the actual GIF that an emoji is creating. Mm. I mean, I could be wrong, yo, -yo but I'm pretty sure that's what I've seen. Facial expressions? You can even add voice messages to them. Plus, the S9 will generate 18 personalized emojis, all modeled after you. And here's the best bit. You can share all the emojis you create with your friends, no matter what kind of smartphone they have. Ooh, and that's right. because we want users to enjoy the freedom that comes with open platforms and ecosystems, right, you can over. also use them with third-party apps like WhatsApp and Facebook Messenger. John, how about we show them these emojis in action? Sure thing, Aaron. I just pulled up that AR emoji I created of me. Check out those eyebrows. Nice. Those are on point. And there's some several other fun characters you can choose from. Mm, go with Bunny. Bunny? <laughs> yeah, it's cute. Bunny. OK, that was pretty cool. <laughs> so the other night, I was with Justin. And he absolutely insisted that he do a live demo to Unpacked. And we both agreed that AR emoji would be the best one. So hey, Justin, let's check out your AR emoji. Hey, thanks, John. Finally, you've let me into one of your live demos. I'm sporting, well, like you. You know, they're so easy to use, I can't stop with just one. So this is Monday morning, Justin, looking professional. Let me try a couple others on you. This is Saturday <laughs> night, Justin. He's ready to go out. He's wearing this is this is pretty cool, guys. I'd I'd have to and admit this is. And in the spirit is, of the upcoming World Cup, this is pretty fun. I think. I thought I'd try out uh, World Cup, Justin. Here he's rooting for Team Spain. What do you think? What do you think, guys? What's your favorite? Uh, I mean, they're all pretty awesome, but you kind of stole my thunder. I still like mine better. <laughs> Aaron, what do you think? Oh, guys, it's a tough one. I'm gonna have to go with John. Sorry, Justin. Oh. Yes. Well, let me show you how I feel with one of the 18 personalized emojis that were created. Let's go with that one. Nice. That's how I feel. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Thank you guys for helping me out. And if you don't want to create your own emoji, you can use some of the other familiar faces, including one of the world's biggest celebrities. 
He's got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and he's been a titan of the industry for over eight decades. That's right, it's Mickey Mouse. Thanks to an exciting new partnership with Disney, you That's can bring cool. to life some of your favorite characters, including Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, and even The Incredibles. With AR That's emoji, a pretty big partnership the with that one, guys. That's, that's pretty cool. Like never before. It's not just a lens for looking at the world, but also a tool for interacting with it in new ways. Last year, we introduced Bixby, our artificial intelligence platform that helps you do more with your phone, and it keeps getting better every day. Let's say you want to translate a foreign language. Now, Bixby uses AR to show you search results in real time. Just hold up your camera, and Bixby will automatically detect the language and translate it for you live. Here in Barcelona, yeah, and that's Bixby way better be than before. Usually, you'd have to take a picture of now, it I know for it to be Spanish, but um, sometimes you need more than translated. That, now it looks like you just have to point it at it, and it does it live, which is pretty. I don't know amazing. about you, but I like to know exactly what it is that I'm eating before I get it. So tomorrow, when I'm out for lunch, I'll definitely be using Bixby to help me. Let's check it out. For a second, I thought she was walking on a treadmill. That's a, so <laughs> that's a very steady the camera, cameraman. Then I choose Bixby. Then you select text search. Hmm, I wonder what Bacalao al Orno could be. You hold it up. And Bixby will translate it for me live. Baked cod. Sounds good. Hmm. Isn't that great? As Bixby keeps improving, there are more ways than ever to use it in your everyday life, like helping you track what you eat, which is amazing for a health-conscious person like me. Now, your camera can identify what food is on your plate what? and log the nutritional information directly into Samsung Health so you don't have to spend ages. So that's pretty cool. You'd be able to take a picture of the food you're eating and it has the calories. As DJ mentioned earlier, I'm definitely Samsung excited to test that one out. always been committed to the idea that technology can help us live better, healthier lives. We want you to spend more time on the things that matter and we want Bixby to make your everyday life easier. Now, I love shopping and one of my favorite things to buy is makeup. However, if I want the right color foundation, for example, I have to visit a store in person. But I have a really busy life, and I don't always have the time. Now, Bixby makes this whole process really simple with makeup mode. Thanks to our partnerships with leading cosmetics brands, Sephora, <laughs> CoverGirl, and Amore Pacific, Bixby lets you try on makeup virtually. And if you like something, you can use Bixby to buy it through your camera. That's pretty nice for any women launch, out there. And this I guess will be available guys. in the U.S., Canada, Korea, and China. As other companies join oh, our platform, Sephora there'll be and more Covergirl opportunities and... to use AR to improve so any, the way So any any female out there is going to want but that's not all. this Galaxy S9 because of that. The S9 will also be compatible with Google AR Core, and developers are already working on creating amazing new AR apps and experiences for Galaxy users. So. After all this, hmm. I'm sure you can tell that I really love this camera. Not only because it takes the best pictures, but because it makes everything in your life easier. From yeah, Paul, that's probably right. There's probably no, not too many traveling. women in here right now. <laughs> and with AR, the S9 Mostly camera men. will revolutionize the way you work, play, and interact with the world around you. To tell you more about the incredible S9, please welcome Mark Notton. Thank you, Erin. It's great to be here in Barcelona. With the S9, we didn't just reimagine the camera. We designed an amazing phone to match. It lets you see and interact with the world around you like never before. And it's a gateway to countless other worlds, the ones where our favorite films, books, and shows all play out. With the S9 and the S9 Plus, we've created an unparalleled viewing experience. These displays are totally immersive. 
the S9 at 5.8 inch and the S9 Plus at 6.2 inch. And they look great too. We all know Barcelona is a stunning city and it never looks better than when viewed through the screen of an S9. Vivid colors, gorgeous details. This is a screen that really pulls you inside. And with the S9, we've boosted the brightness of the screen. So in the brightest daylight or the darkest night, everything will look crisp and clear. Now, having an amazing display is really important to our users. But for a truly immersive viewing experience, the sound has to be amazing too. The S9 features speakers on both ends of the device. Ooh, stereo sound. They're the loudest ever in a Galaxy phone. <laughs> loudest ever. Loud. Thank you. Well, it's about time they finally did that. I mean, they did acquire These Harman Kardon Industries, AKG so tunes, dual stereo yeah, they speakers. own AKG now, so it's, and they've allowed us to do some truly it's about time they finally put in that stereo sound. Our partners at Dolby. So it should have Dolby Atmos. Think oh yeah, that's sick. To the last time you went to your local cinema, the sound was totally immersive, right? Well. We've brought that feeling to the S9 with Dolby Atmos. Yeah, so if you don't know if you're about to upgrade to this phone or not device. from the S8 or S8 Plus, I Dolby would say Atmos probably between the, the camera new stereo and the to move sound stereo all sound, you between those two alone, so you can fully should lose hopefully yourself make you in make the film that little bump. Watching. And it works whether you're listening to the S9's amazing new speakers or on your own pair of headphones. Headphone by jack. simply connecting them to the convenient headphone socket at the bottom <laughs> of the device. That's stab number two. <laughs> Thank you. I love it. I love it. We got one or two We've more. We've made these changes because the fact is, many of us watch videos and films on our smartphones. And when we do, we're usually on the move. So, with the S9, whether you're streaming a video or playing an online game, you get a better experience than ever before. The S9 is powered by one of the most advanced chipsets on the market, which means you can get speeds faster than gigabit LTE. And we support the most advanced networks, so you can have some of the fastest downloading speeds available on a smartphone. Now, I don't know about you, but I rarely get a chance to watch a film these days without interruption. More often, when I'm on my phone, I'm doing several things at the same time. So, at Samsung, we're constantly improving the entire multitasking experience. Now, when you get a notification, you can just drag it down and open it in a new window, right on top of the current one. So you can respond to a message without interrupting the video you're watching. And multitasking isn't about just doing more at once. It's also about seamlessly switching between tasks. Our home screen now supports horizontal orientation. So when you're switching between apps, you don't have to keep flipping your phone around. And after a long, thank you. And after a long day, of streaming movies and playing games, recharging your phone will be a piece of cake because the S9 comes equipped with fast wireless charging, the key word being fast, so you can get a quick, convenient charge without worrying about cords. To create the S9, we listened intently to your feedback and your ideas to give you an experience that's more comfortable, more immersive, and more in tune with how you live your lives. This is a device that revolutionizes the way we think about smartphones can be and what they can do for a generation that's more visual and more social than ever before. The S9 is our vision for the future of mobile phones. But 
Before we get a chance to take a look at it in person, our next speaker is going to take you through our vision for software, services, and security for today's consumers and businesses. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Executive Vice President, Head of Software and Artificial Intelligence, E.S. Chung. Thank you all and hello to everyone joining us from all over the world. I'm so pleased to join Samsung's leadership team as the head of the software research and development. I've always been excited about the power of technology to make life easier. In my 15 years at Samsung, I've been honored to help our devices grow from the standard feature phones of the early 2000s to the smartphones we love today. And I'm thrilled to help lead our expedition into the new frontiers of virtual reality, augmented reality, AI, and machine learning. Our aim has always been to provide be cool. the best possible experience, combining the best hardware with the most advanced software. We believe you cannot have one without the other, but with both, you can have a profound impact on people's lives. That's why we've become a global leader in chips displays and sensors, and created software and services that revolutionize the way you work and live with a mobile device at the center of your connected life. Today, Galaxy phones routinely do things we never would have imagined, like organize your schedule, buy your groceries, track your calories, translate a page, and even create an emoji that's truly you. Man, smartphones just That's do everything That's our now. vision for software <laughs> and services. Not just make great phones, but to help you get the most out of them. Not just to make your experience better, but to make them faster, easier, and even more intuitive. And on millions of Galaxy devices right now, you can see this vision at work. Take Samsung Pay, for example. We started this service because we believe payment should be as easy as a single touch. That's why we made it compatible with most payment systems. Today, Samsung Pay is available in 20 markets, and we are continuing to expand to make the mobile payment even more accessible. With Samsung Health, we are giving people tools to live healthier lives. The experience is as simple as wearing a wristband, touching a sensor, or taking a photo of your plate of food. And Samsung SmartThings, we brought one of the largest IoT ecosystems under a single umbrella, so controlling the most important devices in your life is as easy as flipping a switch. And with Bixby, we have created an intelligence platform that makes it easier to use your phone the way you want. It adapts to your behavior and anticipates your needs. And with powerful AR capabilities, it helps you understand the world around you and express yourself in new ways. And these are just a few of the software and services that are rad radically transforming our lives. And they are just the tip of the iceberg. In a world of connected technology, security is more important than ever because our data is our most valuable possession. And consumers need to know that the data is safe and companies need to handle data with great care and responsibility. And that's why from our software APIs all the way down to our chipsets, security is integrated throughout our devices with Samsung Knox. And Knox has received more government security approvals and top rankings from industry analysts than any other platform. And because security is a top priority for consumers and for businesses, we have made sure Knox is enterprise ready. 
for our enterprise customers, we offer a full suite of services to help corporate IT, man IT managers configure, deploy, and update all their devices easily, including through the cloud. I think what we made Knox work for business because workplaces are changing ASM? rapidly. I don't know. More and more, we are taking our that. work home with us and bringing our personal lives and our personal devices to the office. From healthcare to finance to manufacturing, businesses all across the world are turning to Galaxy devices. And we are helping them create flexible, productive workspaces with Samsung DeX. DeX knows DeX lets power your oh no, a PC like environment straight Tech from said your phone. On the other hand, users and companies that. love DeX, so we made it even better. We've introduced a brand new DeX pad and Knox integration to create a oh, there is your new Samsung DeX. Looks like it's flat, so you'd be able to use and it as a mouse. Services like Samsung DeX among the most exciting frontiers of technology. But as I said earlier, they don't stand alone. They build on a foundation of amazing hardware, powerful security, and intuitive software. And now, embedded throughout it all is, guess what? Intelligence. Bixby will unite all the different devices and bring our vision of truly connected lo world to life. Our goal for Bixby is threefold. It will be ubiquitous, available on any and all devices. It will be personal, understanding and anticipating your needs. And most importantly, it will be open, inviting future growth and innovation. Every day, Bixby is learning and getting better while our engineers push the boundaries of mobile intelligence to the next level. We will, be sharing, we will be sharing very exciting news about Bixby later this year, so please stay tuned. I wish I could tell you more, but <laughs> sorry. But I promise I will be back. For now, I hope you will enjoy seeing everything about Galaxy devices can do, and starting with the incredible S9. And now I'd like to invite back to the stage DJ Ko. I got so good. Thank you, yes. And thank you all so much for joining us. As you can probably tell, we are very excited by the new Kellogg's S9. And more exciting news, you can check it out starting on March 16th when it's available in retail stores. If that's too long to wait. You can pre-order at Samsung.com and our partner retail stores. In addition, we have worked with our partners to offer high trading values on your current phone when you upgrade to S9. The Galaxy S9 Enterprise <laughs> Edition, a complete Galaxy. package, customized for enterprise customers, will also be available on March 16th. I invite you to explore more and enjoy all the amazing new experiences the S9 offers. At our Mobile World Congress exhibition space, you can see firsthand how the Samsung Galaxy S9 will make your life easier, healthier, and more fun. Please, come and check it out. Thank you. 
All right, so if you, guys, if you guys want, you guys can actually stay around just a little bit longer, and we'll kind of talk a little bit of what we kind of saw. Um, and this way I can also fix my mic, make sure everything sounds good. So let's see if this is the end. Here's the end of the video, I believe. Then we'll talk about the RAM and, and everything else, too. Looks like that's pretty much the show. Um, let me know if you guys are able to uh, hear me pretty well right now as well. Um, let me put my, let's see, let's put the dialog box back on. Um, so first off, let me know if you guys can hear me okay. Because um, I know that during the show, I kind of had it a little bit lower. Because um, I had the audio output from the computer as well as myself too. So let me know if you guys can hear me. And we'll kind of just, I guess, talk about a little bit of... Uh, what we just got done seeing. Okay, loud and clear. Cool. Um, so looks like they only had two jabs at Apple. If I missed one, let me know. <laughs> uh, talk about the notch and then also the uh, the headphone jack, which is super cool. So basically, with this device, you know, if you guys are looking at between, you know, if you have maybe the S8 or the S8 Plus, and you're debating if you want this S9 or S9 Plus, really, it's probably going to come down to um, first off when you got your phone and if you got it, you know, with what carrier. Uh, so it kind of depends, like, do you have the Galaxy Forever program at Sprint? You know, everybody knows that you're able to upgrade your phone one year later. So um, it's really kind of up to what you signed up for. But again, if you're part of any other carrier, um, you know, um, like for me, I'm at AT&T, so I know that you'd be able to buy out of that contract and then um, get your next device. So um, really what I was trying to say here, the two main things that I think is going to make a big difference is going to be the camera. There is the dual aperture, which is the f2.4 and f1.5, which is fantastic. Um, and then along with that, you have your 960 frames per second. So with me being a dude, I know for a fact I'm going to use a lot of that super slow-mo stuff. I love camera work. Um, so going at 132nd the speed versus 1 8th the speed is just a huge upgrade. Um, in, in, in the light of kind of what you see. And, and they showed the slow-mo guys. And when you bring in the slow-mo guys, they know a lot about these cameras in slow motion. So um, they actually looked pretty impressed, at least in the video. Um, obviously, it's got the IP68. The next thing that's going to make a big difference is the stereo sound. So between the camera and the stereo sound, um, I mean, right now, like when I watch something on my Note 8, I have to kind of put my hand on the bottom of it to make it louder. So it looks as if you don't need to do that with this next device because it... it I believe I saw a graphic on there that stated that it was 140% louder, um, which is a huge difference. So if you're in a car and you're listening to directions or you're listening to music in the car, maybe somebody voice chatted you and something, you can actually hear it now. Um, if you're at home, you can hear it. If you're at work, you can hear it. And then along, if you don't want to have it so loud, um, I'm pretty sure you could probably turn that off. So if you don't want the Dolby sound in there, my guess is that you can turn it off and have it as just a normal speaker on the bottom. Um, it's just a guess, my, my guess through the settings. Um, and really, that's pretty much the biggest differences. So um, between the S9 and the S8 is, is my guess is those two. It, my guess is the batteries are going to stay the same because the sizes stayed the same. My guess is the battery will stay the same. So the S9, my guess, will be the 3,000 milliamp battery. The uh, S9 Plus will probably have the 3,500 milliamp battery. And then uh, my guess also, too, with that double camera on the S9 Plus, you'll have more RAM. So you'll probably have six gig of RAM for the S9 Plus and then four gig of RAM on the S9. So, I mean, that, that's pretty much it. Then you have your other fun stuff you're able to do. If you're a female, you're going to love the makeup portion of it to where it, it connects you with Sephora and it looks like a couple other partners too. So it's, um, yeah, 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 cupping the speaker. Um, I do that all the time. So, um with it being connected with Sephora and, and all these other things, you know, women are able to actually purchase makeup on exactly what they look like. So if they like what they see, they purchase it. It's just going to be ridiculous um, and awesome. Then you got your live translate. So you don't have to take a picture and try to figure everything out. You can, you can just do it just by pointing at it. Um, and then the AR emoji is going to be a pretty big deal too for some folks um, just because 
you know, we're not turning ourselves into unicorn or a poop head or whatever, whatever you're able to do. And from my understanding with the AR or um, with the iPhones and emojis is that you are able to send the videos um, as a normal video, you know, like a GIF um, or an animated video from iPhone to iPhone. Um, now, if you send it to something else, maybe Facebook uh, and maybe possibly uh, an Android user, my, my, my belief on that one is that it's a small icon um, or it's just a picture. So I don't think it's exactly what this one's able to do. I like this AR emoji because it turns us into Bitmojis, which I use all the time. Um, I'm all, I also play Nintendo as well, so it looks like a Nintendo avatar um, that you're able to interact with. So I think, I think all that's going to be um, pretty fun. And if you guys missed what I said from before, Samsung did purchase Harman Kardon Industries last year. It was very beginning last year was when they purchased Harman Kardon Industries. And that means that Samsung now owns Harman Kardon. They also own um, AKG and a whole bunch of other uh, companies, JBL as well. Um, and that is why the S8, S8 Plus, and Note 8 also had the AKG you know, headsets in the box. Um, and so now they actually incorporate it into the phones, which means that um, as somebody asked a question about different tablets, usually they release tablets and wearables usually is in the fourth quarter. Um, usually closer to around when the Note launches every single year is when they kind of put those out. And so you know for a fact that the tablets will probably have something along the lines too now that they've acquired this company. Um, so yeah, I, I, I'm with it right there. The AR emoji is way better than an emoji. That's for sure. Um, yep. Just for the 960, it's way better. Can't wait for the note nine. Yeah. So definitely, you know, whatever you see here on this model device, because it's released here in 2018, that means with the S nine coming out later in the year, that one's also going to be in 2018. So you'll, you'll see a lot of the stuff will move over to that phone, but I don't know exactly how much of this is able to move back over into the older devices. Um, the only thing is I know for a fact the super slow-mo will not, the dual aperture will not, <laughs> um, but I don't know about live translate or makeup or AR emoji. I have no idea on those ones. Um, and, and obviously the stereo sound will not be able to go back to the older devices as well. So that was pretty much the live stream. Uh, thank you guys for all coming to this channel to watch it. Super excited that you guys were here. Uh, I was able to kind of keep about 100, 100 of you guys, about 105 uh, in this room this whole time. So I'm super excited, super stoked on that. Thanks for sharing this time with me. I um, hope you guys enjoyed the live stream. I hope you guys kind of like the live dialogue. There's not too many places you can do that, um, you know, where everybody else is kind of just in a little community. So hope you guys have a fantastic and wonderful Sunday. Um, usually I don't do videos on Sundays, but obviously I had to with this one. <laughs> um but outside of that, make sure you guys have a wonderful weekend. Um, stay tuned for some upcoming future videos of this device, obviously. Um, and uh, that's pretty much about it. I'll see you guys later. Make sure you guys hit that like button if you guys liked it. Hit on subscribe if you have not subscribed already. Share my channel with anybody who has a Samsung device or who you know is about to get a Samsung device. So in this way, we can make sure that they're definitely knowledgeable. Um, again, I'm not a huge reviewer. I'm more of a trainer. Uh, tutorial type of a guy. So I hope you guys like these type of videos. But outside of that, I will see you guys later.